owner of this land is the same owner of the building situated on the plot in a prime location introducing two spacious plots of land both measuring 70 by 200 by the main pokwase ablekuma highway these plots of land are litigation free and registered guaranteeing peace of mind located opposite the west home hotel at pokwase just a minute drive from the pokwase interchange it is also 25 minutes drive from the Kotoka International Airport and at a special location that links to the Accra Kumasi Road and also the Accra Cape Coast Highway. Landmarks around include schools, hotels, restaurants and real estate hub that will perfectly fit whatever purpose you want to use the land for. All this could be yours for just $130,000 for both plots. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to make your dreams a reality. Contact us today on 0544-673-363, 0544-673-363 or call our UK line on plus 44-793-131-0063. Like me, I did like him. I bet she want a one night stand. Shorty want a one night stand. She be my girlfriend and best friend, so we the pretend. Welcome, Accra. Welcome, Ghana. It's the Ben Archer TV channel. My name is the Ben Archer, and always do subscribe to the Ben Archer TV and get all the latest information. Now, straight up to our video today, we are looking at the rehabilitation of the Fancor area doing some road project as against the Dominicator road project. And you can see that the as this is the first asphalt layout I was talking about some time back. You can see it very clear, and it starts from the Hodem Church, the Hodem Church area heading towards Fisher Junction. You see that the contractors have laid. Um, about uh, 100 meter asphalt, the first lay layout, and uh, like I told you, all the retaining works and uh, retaining wall works and the earthworks between uh, Festos and uh, Fisay Junction heading towards Amasaman had been completed. What they are waiting is uh, some filling at uh, some low lying area and some asphalt works which has already begun at Fisay Junction. So today, the contractors basically opened uh, the um highway to traffic i'm not talking about the service lane we used to use a service lane but the inner lanes which are the highways two inner lanes they opened one to traffic and that's what we are using and it was a delight driving on it it was free it was uh very quick very convenient and you can see the widened stretch and even this one they can even take uh somewhere about three lanes yeah so i think it's three lanes here Three lanes on the other side, and uh, the other will be for uh, two, two. Yeah, so it's a widened road network that has been open to traffic today, and you can see the way we are. The driver is over speeding basically on it. It tells you that once the entire project is done, there will be free flow of traffic within this uh, uh, stretch of the road. Is a rehabilitation of the Fancor barrier and expansion of the Fancor barrier to in some road project engineered by Maripuma Engineering Limited and it's an indigenous Ghanaian company and uh, the project is progressing steadily as you can see contractors have done a lot of the work and much or much of the work is also ongoing yesterday we brought you update from Amasaman where the Amasaman interchange a three-tier interchange and some flyovers were being were under construction and when you get to Amasaman, you see that uh, the contractors are working on some beam. They are mounting up beams. And I think it's going to be a flyover that will join the interchange uh, eventually. So we hope to see. They are still doing networks there. And once it's done, it will, I mean, the entire project will ship up for us to see it very clearly. So this is the Pokwasi interchange. Like I told you, from the Pokwasi interchange to the... Uh, in Samoam is going to be a 10 lane then after Pokwasi interchange of Ancor barrier is going to be two lane and you can see the dusty nature of the medians the red sand or the sand is everywhere in Ghana notable we don't sweep our roots 
So much of these things uh, are normal to us here because we don't sweep our roads. And nobody cares, nobody bothers. Look at the sand all over the stretch of the road. All over and nobody's sweeping. And big out, uh, big ups or shout out to Bastard Boys. They are doing very well. And they are always cleaning up our road for us for free. And there is a Pokwas Interchain notable. Always in delighting condition. It's a delight to see the the biggest interchange, road interchange in the in West Africa and one of the biggest in the world. So we are flying over the Pokwasi interchange and uh, we are heading towards Kwabenya ACP road and there's a Kwabenya ACP road and that leads to the Pokwasi interchange and we are on route to the Domek Kitasi road project to see what's up, what is happening there as well. So this is the Pokwasi interchange stretch that moves to Kwabenya. And here the contractor started and make, made it a dual lane. And uh, it's, um, it's an eight lane, which eventually moves forward to join the single lane. That's a two lane. And uh, from what we are hearing, from the Pukwasi interchange to Kwabenya station, uh, linking to Medina, there's going to be a, a dual carriage. So you can see that the government have left road reservations. And here again, when they're about to dualize it straight to Kwabenya, they will demolish people's houses. They will demolish people's kiosks and stores. Because it is very clear that the road reservations all over, especially to the left as we are heading towards Kwabenya, a lot of road reservations have been earmarked by the government of Ghana. And uh, like I te I, I'm telling you, uh, this stretch is going to be dualized one day as well. And this is uh, Kwabenya ACP Estate Junction. There's a junction that leads to ACP Estate. So we are heading towards Kwabenya Station. And uh, we are uh, uh, descending the hill to My Lord. For those of you who are, you are used to this stretch, we are heading towards My Lord. And this is how Kwabenya has developed. This is how Kwabenya has grown. One of the developing enclaves in Ghana. Kwabenya, ACP Estate, and its surrounding community. So we are descending the hill of my lord. Then we ascend the hill again and move to KFC, then eventually Kwabenya Station. So here is the Domekitasi Road Project. And this is Kwabenya Station. We are heading towards Brekuso, Comet, and its surrounding community, Eyim Ajimenti, Kitasi. And like I told you that other time, from Kwabenya to Brekusu, and there's a Brekusu stretch, that's the road that leads to Comet, from Bank of Ghana Junction at Kwabenya, then we are heading towards Comet Properties. This is the road, that stretch. And you can see that a lot of delightful development around this vicinity. And the landscape is absolutely scintillating. But the roads are in poorest condition. Now, we noticed one thing exciting here today. Today, the contractors had moved from uh, uh, Kitase because all this, well, I've told you that this road like was like, uh, 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 there was no work ongoing. The contractors had, had all moved to Kitase and they were working there. But today, I saw the contractors move back to the Comet Road again and they were failing the stretch. I don't know whether they are going to asphalt it any moment soon, but you can see that the contractors were watering the field and I saw one or two of them around with their machineries and they were failing this stretch piling sand to fill it up and if that is the case then very soon asphalting will begin from this stretch as well and a considerable number amount of work have been done at the Ketasi end it's a long time i went there to give you an update but i'll try one of these days to drive there it's a very herculean tax we do but we try to work and strive you see the contractors around yes so this is what they are doing they are trying to fill up and to continue with the work it's a long time we saw them on this stretch especially on the comet Brekuso road but today they were here and they were working. So, like I told you, anybody who tell that the contractors have abandoned the work is not true. They were all based at Kitasi and they were working. And now they've dropped back to the Comet Road leading to Kitasi, um, Brekuso. And they are working for Madagana. So that is the quick update I'll give you on the Dome Kitasi Road project as well. It's the Ben Archer TV channel bringing you live updates on development in Ghana. My name is the Ben Archer. And please subscribe to our channel and become part of this amazing and wonderful family. We thank you for joining us and thank you for watching our videos as well. We love you so much. 
and we are going with you so we are doing we are doing this drive with our toyota hilux pickup uh, if you god blesses you and you buy one first we will thank you there is a toyota hilux pickup we used to ply this road you know this road we can't use a small car so always we have to be in a four-wheel drive just to bring you what is happening all across ghana so if you are hearing you are within the hearing range of my voice and you can buy a four-wheel drive for us oh we we'll bless you god bless you so much <laughs> or you have a four-wheel drive mr Archer, go and pick it up oh we'll thank you so that we can go to the hinterlands where all the reporters are running away then we can bring you all the latest update from there as well so that is that so this is a live shot on the Domi Kitasi road project we are heading towards uh and this is a comet area and uh we are moving towards Brekuso. then after Brekuso, you go to um a yim from a yim to ajimenti ajimenti to Kitasi, then Kitasi. Right, you join the Ebri Highway, Ebri Aqua Highway. So that is a live update coming your way. It's the Ben Archer TV channel. My name is the Ben Archer. Continue to enjoy the rest of our footage and we'll bring you more updates another time. Subscribe to our channel and continue to become part of this amazing family. Once again, my name is the Ben Archer and certainly I am out. God bless for joining us.